Stay with us and watch how to build this tiny five and a quarter inch $30 subwoofer that hits down to 12 hertz. The quality is amazing and simple to build with your 3D printer. Welcome. Today we're going to build this powerful five and a quarter inch desktop subwoofer that easily provides enough bass for your home audio setup for music and gaming. Due to COVID-19, I've been working from home and really needed a boost for my computer's desktop audio. With a dryer that's less than $30 that provides a room filling base, this is pretty hard to beat. This subwoofer is really small. The tilt while in the stand exaggerates these dimensions just a bit, but it's less than seven inches long. The subwoofer is about eight inches in height while in the stand. The stand exaggerates the height by adding about an inch here as well. I chose a seal design. This helps simplify the design while keeping the cabinet very small, which was important for a desktop unit. Sealed also provides very clean and defined base at the cost of reaching some of the lows that are possible if this were a vented design. The shape of the box is atypical. It's half an ellipsoid and it's 3D printed with PETG for toughness and heat resistance um, when compared to PLA. There are other reasons the shape is ideal. Boxes are inherently weak and tend to resonate based on their inner dimensions if not properly braced. Ellipsoids are very strong, stiff, and lack consistent dimensions, which should eliminate resonances and coloration while eliminating the need for bracing. This shape also simplifies the 3D print since we can print this in a single piece, which eliminates the need to glue halves together and eliminates any weak points or leaks. This also contributes to a very small baffle, which should help eliminate reflections from the face. The driver I chose for this project is the Timfany SDS 135S series. This is a five and a quarter inch, four ohm speaker that can handle up to 50 watts. The speaker box was easy to create in Tinkercad. Here we can see the shape with the holes all pre-created. The speaker stand is a simple design. Uh, it's simply a set of four cones. The larger cones are actually for the rear. They hold up the back of the speaker. All these designs are available for you to 3D print in the links below. This can be reproduced on any 3D printer that can support objects of 180 millimeters square or larger. You're actually gonna see version two of this print with some minor improvements. I'm going to be using clear PET G instead of black, which is the version you've seen up until now. Uh, I've just recently switched to PET G and I feel it'll provide a good structure, a tough structure to support the speaker. That said, you should be able to use PLA or pretty much anything else you like. Now that the print is complete, we're going to finish this unit off. And so here I've got some poly batting. I've got some gold plated extra long binding posts and six hex machine screws. I do have links below to where you can get these at Parts Express. The binding posts screw right in. Uh, you can possibly tighten these with a wrench, but they should go in by hand. Here I've crimped the cable that connects the binding posts to the speaker. Um, these crimp-ons are available almost anywhere as well as the tool. I'll post a link to that as well. Here we have all the wiring connected and the speaker just about to be connected to the baffle. And here we have it fully assembled and we'll take a look at it real quick from all four sides.
so let's generate some test tones and see how it does. 200 hertz. And that was 10 hertz. So let's listen to some music. Partway through, I'll switch to subwoofer only. to really appreciate just how much bass this is putting out. It completely fills this room and in fact it completely really fills the house. I've got to be careful or the neighbors can actually hear and feel it as well. All the details are posted below so you can build one of these yourselves. If you do build one please leave a message and even better place a link somewhere so we can all take a look at your creation and uh, we'd love to see what you do. And thank you very much.